To directly set the now pointer on a certain time, you can click on the sequence time and enter the time via numbers directly. Now you can drag the container to snap to the now pointer's position to make sure this container sits on this exact timing. Keyboard shortcut to directly jump the now pointer to an absolute time is the plus key on the keyboard's number pad. And entering the time, confirmed by another enter. To delete a container, select it with the left click and press delete on the keyboard. To undo sequence edits, press Ctrl Z. A second video on layer 2 should start at the same time like the first video on layer 1. Select another video file in the project tab and drag and drop it onto layer 2. To jump to start or end of a container, use Ctrl, arrow, left or right. By jumping to the start of the first container and dragging the second container at the exact same position, you make sure that you do not have a gap. Keep in mind that one frame can make a difference already. Notice the changes in the preview. The texture of layer 2 has now hidden first layer's texture. The reason is that layer 1 is placed behind layer 2 and layer 2 would be behind layer 3 and so on. The order of layers in device tree from top to bottom is defining the order in Pandora's box 3D space depth. Let's now use the first parameter. By double clicking the side it will open up all devices or layers. Double clicking the layer will open the parameter list. The third entry is called opacity. By right clicking in the same line in the sequence you will create an opacity key. Keys will store your parameter values to the sequence and are displayed as hash keys. Keys can be dragged inside a container. Like the container, keys also snap to the now pointer. Now build a fade in and out for layer 2. To do this, create keys on specific timings with different values. For a fade in, start with zero opacity. Depending how long the fade should be, let's say 2 seconds. Add another key with full opacity 2 seconds later. To fade out, start with full opacity and go down to zero opacity. To change the value of a key, just select the key and have a look into the inspector tab. The Inspector tab is a dynamic tab which always refers to your selection. In this case you can change the value of the opacity key. You can see direct change visualized in the sequence. To increase the accuracy of your programming there is another useful keyboard shortcut. By using the num plus key twice, you can enter a relative time to the now pointer's time position. This is helpful to ensure all your opacity fade durations are exactly 2 seconds. Use the same shortcut, control, arrow right or left, to jump with the now pointer to different key positions. Your first task is to program crossfades between four video files while only using two video layers. A hint. Make your mind about the time. Videos need to overlap each other. Please pause now this video and take your time to try solving this task. Select a video file and assign it to layer 1. Same for layer 2. 
The clip on layer 2 has to start 2 seconds before the first video ends. These 2 seconds are needed for the transition. Navigate the now pointer to this position by using keyboard shortcuts and snap the container on layer 2 to that exact position. To create this transition, open layer 2 in the device tree, select the opacity key and change the value to 0. The video should start playing completely opaque. Two seconds later, create a key with the value 255 to make the video on layer 2 visible. Jump to the end of the second container, go two seconds back. Here you can now add the next video container and create two more keys. One at this exact position at value 255 and another one at value 0, at the very end of the container on layer 2. Repeat those steps until you have all four videos on the sequence. Now jump back to the beginning of the first container and press play. Maybe you realize that there are only keys, or let's say opacity changes on the second layer. The top layer is hiding everything what is behind it, but only if its opacity is 255. We do not recommend programming a classic crossfade with layer 1 fading out, while layer 2 is fading in. If you fade out the first video file and at the same time the second file fades in, then you lose intensity at the specific time. Have a look at this example using a white test pattern. In the next step I will give you a quick overview about the difference between video and graphic layers in Pandora's box. Let's start with the video layer. A video layer can play back all compatible resources. The graphic layer can only handle static images, still frames of videos, live inputs or a text input. The graphic layer does not have transport or playback controls. All layers in Pandora's box are called devices. To make all actually loaded devices visible, select the related side. Perform a right click and click toggle devices. You can hide and show devices as needed. To add more devices, use the option Add Device. Here you find the list of available layer types in Pandora's box. The next topic in this tutorial is Cues. In the Sequence tab you can see some icons to create different cues. Keep in mind that the position of the created cue relates to the now pointer's position. At first start with the play queue. The timeline play status will stay the same when reaching the queue. That means when the timeline is playing, it continues playing. Each queue is given a unique queue ID. The numeric queue ID is increased for each new queue by default. The pause queue changes the timeline play status to pause when reaching the queue. The stop queue changes the timeline play status to stop when reaching the queue. That means that the now pointer stops and then jumps to time zero of the sequence.
Next cue is the jump cue. When reaching this cue, the now pointer will jump to the jump target entered. You can enter a time for the jump target or you select cue ID in the drop down list and enter the related cue ID in the designated field. Last but not least, the wait queue. The now pointer will wait at the queue and then keeps on playing. The wait time can be entered here in the inspector. The countdown time is displayed in orange below the sequence time code. The time remaining to the next queue is also displayed here. Please take yourself some time, add some cues to your sequence and experience their behavior. Maybe you can put a jump cue at the end of the last container to jump at the start. That would be a rough loop. You will learn how to create an exact loop later. Already created cues can be edited in the Inspector tab. All settings can be adjusted there. There is also the possibility to label the cues. Use the shortcut Ctrl, Alt and arrow key left or right for jumping to cues. The snap function of the now pointer also takes effect to the beginning and end of a container. Keys and cues will snap as well. Let's talk a bit about containers. By default, every key and every resource will stay in a container. If there are multiple keys in the container, you can imagine they act like a group of keys. If you move a container, all the created keys will stay in relative positions in the container.